thanks very much for clicking on the link. Um, you can get your copy of your ebook by clicking on the link. I believe it's that side, could be that side. Um, just put your name and your email and you'll get a copy straight to your inbox. Um, this little report describes um, how noise and vibration can be caused by engine misalignment and how it transmits up through the boat into all the structures and shakes everything to bits um, purely because of the coupling system. Um, it explains about the engine alignment and those four rusty things under the engine, um, which most people don't realise actually push the boat along. Um, yeah, the engine mounts are <laughs> a pretty important part of the boat. We talk about that and then I introduce Sigma Drive, um, which is our product um, that is a flexible uh, shaft coupling system that you can install on the boat very easily um, that softens the shaft line reduces the noise and vibration and makes life on board so much easier. It's a uh, simple thing to fit. It doesn't require a mechanic. It doesn't require critical alignments. Um, it'll protect your transmission, it'll save you money and it'll make everything quieter. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to talk this video to talk a little bit more about Sigma Drive, introduce who I am. Does that sound good? Okay, let's carry on then. So, Sigma Drive, I like to think of Sigma Drive it's a spherical thrust coupler. Um, most of the other coupling systems, well, pretty much all of them on the market, um, that they move or, um, or have some movement system in them are constant velocity type um, couplers. Um, so they, they're the joints that you'd see under um, trucks where they have the, 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 the drive shaft comes down and bends. It, it adds you know, some, some motion into the, the uh, drive system to have some flexibility. Um, the problem with them uh, it's not a problem, it's just that their limit is that they can't take a thrust load. So when you come to a marine environment, um, as we just said, the engine mounts, um, propeller makes the thrust, thrust goes up the prop shaft, comes in through the coupler to the transmission from the engine, so the engine's working all hard. Those four rusty things under the bottom of the engine are what actually drives the boat, and most people don't realise that. They're really, really important. And if you just replace one or don't manage them or look after them, it can have serious impact on your alignment. The alignment will then affect your onboard comfort and it can affect the seals, it can affect so many things on the boat. So it's really, really nice to pay attention to all this and understanding, which is what the ebook goes into, um, the sensitivity of this system. So. This is not a concept velocity joint. We call this, <sighs> I would say it's more like a ball joint that can take a thrust load. Because inside here, um, there's a sphere. And the sphere itself is what takes the thrust load. So the thrust will come up the shaft and it will absorb through the coupling and you don't need a thrust bulkhead now. You know, the other systems like AquaDrive, you have to have a, a thrust bulkhead to take the thrust load and then you can't transmit the thrust because they use a rubber system and their rubber bearing squishes if you take a thrust load. So you have to have a, a thrust bearing system in. I'll come a bit, a bit more of that later. So the Sigma Drive, and I'll just show you an animation on the screen now. So you can see that there's a, a central sphere that's taking, that takes the thrust load. And then on the, on the quadrants, you can see and that's actually ball bearings. And those ball bearings are what takes the torque load. So the coupling in itself, it is like a, I say like a ball joint, like an elbow joint or something that can take thrust and torque. So it makes it very, very unique. So that's how Sigma Drive works. It's very, very straightforward, very, very simple. It does a lot of complicated things very simply, but we won't go into that just yet. There's more in the report if you want to read it. So fitting one of these things, how does it work? Okay, so this is a system here we use at the boat show. And you can see the um, system because there's like a ball joint, it can move. It's actually three degrees either side. So it gives three degrees, it gives, if you imagine it spins around uh, one rotation, it gives you six degrees full sweep that it can be moved. And if the engine's out by three degrees, you can, the, the shaft is physically bent, you can see it. You know, and we're talking on normal engine alignment, thousandths of an inch critical alignment. So if this thing's on, you can bounce around in a seaway and it will not have any problems whatsoever. It'll soften the loads and protect this little thing here. So fitting it couldn't be simpler. Uh, the unit, we've standardized it. So you can see on the back, um, there's different there's different holes for different um, Kanzaki, for Yanmar. And then we have different pilots 
depending on what uh, transmission. Pilot, for those who don't know, uh, just seats the, um, the coupling on the output flange of the transmission, so it's centralised. It doesn't take a load, it's just a, an alignment tool that actually stays there. Um, stud systems, four studs, slides on. And then the other side, uh, this is empty at the minute, and we come with a unique system. <laughs> this is called a taper lock collar. Uh, the taper lock is a, a engineering, it's a very, very efficient method of connecting something. And it uses a taper to squeeze a slot together. You can see that on camera. Um, this is used on cruise ships, container ships, military vessels, but they would use a hydraulic system to, to do the same job. But it's um, the main point is it's a keyless system. And you would say, no, you need a key to drive it. You don't. Um, the key puts a point load on the, on, the, on the coupling. This one has a 360 degree grip and it's not designed to fail. It's not supposed to be a drive saver or anything like that. This thing will grip like you have no idea. It's awesome. Anyway, you can see on camera there, there's two different diameters on this one. Um, we do these in a range of diameters. So we can specify the shaft from 7 eighths up to inch and a half for this the smaller coupling, SD55. And basically we would size this up for you. Um, and then this would sit in here. And then the propeller shaft would obviously go into here. As you can see on this one, it would then tighten up the bolts and then it would grip the shaft. And that's pretty much the installation. Um, the hardest part of the install is actually getting this to go over the propeller shaft. Obviously this is uh, oversized. Um, but this is supposed to be an interference fit, so it's a very, very tight fit, um, and it's really hard to get on sometimes. Um, once it's in, before you tighten everything up, um, the unit comes with uh, these little wafers, and these are supposed to, once it's, once it's going, there's four of them, and you can lock it off. Oops. There you go, you, you kind of get the idea. You can lock it off so that the... Um, the, this, the the ball joint is is true and once you've done that when you align it you can back off the bolts at the back pull the sigma drive off and you can put feeler gauges in so you can align it although it is very flexible we've designed in a, a way to align it even if you wanted to the nice thing about it is like i said you don't have to rely on critical alignment anymore you can eyeball it with a, a rule or a piece of tape or however you want to do it and the sigma drive will be fine the shelf life on these things, or the, the working life, I should say, um, for small vessels, these go up to about 75 horsepower. So you're looking about 35, 40 foot, 45 foot boats. Um, these, you're looking about 12 to 15 years. Um, it is a wearing part, so they will have different lifespans depending on how, how, long you how hard you load them and how much you work them and obviously how much of an offset you put on them. Um, but in general, they're designed to be very, very low maintenance. Um, they're pre-filled with grease. Um, and pretty much every time you do a major haul up, once every five years or something, uh, you can take them apart and re-grease them. But it's a sealed system. It's not designed to be, um, to be maintained, like, kind of like the sealed batteries or something. And they work great. They've, we've got, you know, they've been around for 10, 15 years. Got tremendous reputation in Europe, and they've been in the US about um, about three or four years. Um, and obviously, we're the distributor for them, so we've got some good stories and some really, really solid people that are just in awe of these things and how they quieten everything down and how they just make life on board so much better. So that's how it comes, and you can see we have different sizes. Um, the majority of sailboats are going to be so. This is a four-inch flange. And this is a five inch flange. This is the next size up. So this is SD55 and this is SD100. Um, the, the ratings 55 stands for, it's a metric system, apologies, uh, 55 newton meters of thrust and 100 newton meters of, of um, sorry, torque. 55 newton meters of torque, 100 newton meters of torque. So it's a relating to the uh, performance of the uh, system. This one is seven eighths up to inch and a half. And I think this one's inch and a half or inch and a quarter up to two inches, I believe. But well, don't quote me on that. Now then, if, and once you get to the crossover point, kind of like a 50 foot boat, depending on the engine, you may have, the boat is within the torque range of the units, um, but the diameter is wrong. So we have a series of adapter flanges and we can send you drawings and it's actually in the report where you can actually modify 
the four inch flange to fit on a five inch coupling. And the nice thing is because they're completely hollow, you don't need to trim the shaft. And this is the other interesting thing about them. Normally with a coupling, you, you trim the shaft to fit it. Like an aqua drive, it's, it's got to be short to fit the thrust bulkhead, then you've got to have an intermediate. None of that. <laughs> you don't need the keyway. You can have a shaft made and just leave it rough, just chamfer the edges. As long as you can slide it into the coupling, um, everything else is, is completely hollow, which just makes installation a dream. You can install it in the water. If you have a PSS, it gets a bit lively. Um, if you have a shaft log, it's a piece of cake. You back off the shaft, tighten it up, and then it'll stay. But if you have a PSS, you've got to break the seal, and you've got to keep it managed. I mean, I would say 30% of the people that buy Sigma Drive have a PSS system, and a lot of them do it in the water. Um, it's it's not, not uncommon sort of thing. Um, and it, it works a great little system. But there was another... There we go. And then we have another system, a uh, different type of adaptive flange. So if you have a V-Drive system, typically the V-Drive, the uh, output flange of the transmission, the bolts are threaded. So this one here, you would drop bolts on this side, and then you would clamp it to here, and then the bolts become captive, and then you can screw the bolts in with an open face spanner into the um, output flange of the transmission. So for the same Sigma Drive, you know, here's just two adapter flanges. We have various different configurations. We can go small, seven eighths um, shaft diameters and have three bolts you know and we can do custom stuff as well it's a little bit um, there'll be an increase in the price but it's 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 totally doable but anyway in review that's Sigma Drive it's awesome you should buy one but anyway to get one I need a few things from you um, read the report it's very very useful and it's a great source of information um, to fit a Sigma Drive we pretty much need to know the engine, make and model, the transmission, and this is really important, the transmission, make and model. Now these are always rusty and this one here is no exception. The plate's gone off the top um, because we need to know the output flange and the output flange is critical because it can make the difference of an adapter flange or just a straight fit depending on, on what it is. So once we have the transmission, uh, we can then size the diameter and then we need to the shaft diameter and once we have all these three things we can size the Sigma drive everything's pretty much manufactured it's CNC manufactured in massive batches so it's on the shelf all we have to do is match up the taper lock collar to the right Sigma drive to the right pilot we stick it all together in a box it comes with the grease it comes with all the lubricants um, Loctite everything you need just to put it on and you can spend I would say about an hour um, and you should have a, a new coupling system on that will soften the shaft line, kill your uh, noise and vibration, and make having drinks on deck a pleasurable experience again. Anyway, my name is Dr. Roderick Sampson. Thank you for very much for watching. I hope you fill in and uh, download the ebook, have a run through it, and then if you'd like to um, put some details in for a quote, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks very much.